Welcome back to another Cape Coral Fort Myers online tour. Okay, I'm back. I just finished doing the Gator Circle Trail Park video. And now I'm gonna go around Gator Circle so you guys see uh, what Gator Circle looks like, okay? I one of you subscribers that wanted to see why are people talking about Gator Circle and I'm here to show you, okay? Over here to my right, that's the Island Coast High School. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about the area where we're in. If you're new to Cape Coral and to my videos, uh, right now we're in the Northeast Cape Coral in an area called Gator Circle. Check out the high school. Very nice. Very big too. Okay. Well, the area circle consists, it's a circle actually, in the northeast corner of Cape Coral that now a lot of people are starting to build here. Okay, it's starting to close, call this place home. So, if you're new to my channel, what I tend to do, I go around the neighborhoods so you guys get a feel of what the neighborhood looks like. And on the description below, I would put a, a link that will show you everything that's available in the area and I'm going to add another link for everything that's being built that, is a, that will be available and that is also in the MLS so that way you guys can you know if you're looking for new construction you just hit new construction if you're looking for anything in this area here just hit the other link and everything will come out there but if there's a lot of listings you know, I don't want you, you know, you're looking for new construction, it's easier for you just to hit new construction and everything new construction will be there. Okay, so you get a, when you hit those, uh, when you hit those links, you get an idea of the prices and what's available in this area. So that's basically how most of my videos work. So if you see any of my other tours, you will have links to the area where, um, where I drove by, okay? If you're interested in moving to Southwest Florida, K Core Four Myers area, and you would like to see videos like this, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, please hit the like button. That really helps me a lot to promote my videos on YouTube. I will really uh, appreciate. And it also gives me a feeling that somebody's watching. So, so let's start with our with our tour here. Actually, right now we are in the Gator Circle, like I said, and it's a circle and it has uh, a west side, a north side, a south side, and an east side. And you see, we're turning like a circle. You see, it's this, we're right now in the north side. And, uh, like I said in my previous video, if you saw it uh, when I was doing the park, uh, right now it haven't rained for like a month, probably a month and a half. You know, we haven't had no rain. Actually, the first rain that we got was yesterday, and uh, but we haven't had rain like in a month, so that's why you see the grass so yellow. But in the summer, all the grass in the middle, the media here, will go green, and a lot of the yards will be a lot greener. So that's just because we're in coming out of uh, winter into spring and that's basically we get a kind of like a drought during winter and spring so that's why uh, the grass looks like this but in a way it's good because we don't get that much rain so we spend January February March rain free so with beautiful sunny days you know that you can do almost anything play golf kayaking boating over here it looks like this, I think it's a commercial lot here, so probably something commercial will be going here. They're cleaning it up. And, and you, as you can see, there's new homes being built everywhere. Let's look over here to my right. You see a home right here being built. See that in front of it? That's a septic tank field. And the septic tank is, should be right around it. Or over here, you see more new construction. I 
A lot of the reasons why the hubs are so high is for that reason, because they have to put that field for the water to run. Sometimes they put it on the side, on the back of the home. Sometimes they put it on the front of the home. Let me just slow down in here so you can see it. You see? And that's where the septic tank goes. Over here, we're still in water and septic, as you can see. On well and septic. And let me make a turn here, so let's get out of the circle. We're right now in the west circle, but I'm just going to go down one street so you can actually see the construction taking place here. So, see over here, all those there are new homes. I'm going to make a left here. More new homes being built. This is what the neighborhoods look like. And as more homes, new homes be, get built, everything's gonna be looking like brand new neighborhoods. So, because you have a lot of empty lots. So the more newer homes comes in, uh, the nicer, you know, the more newer homes you comes in, the, you know, you will have more homes and they will look better, the neighborhood in the sense that it's more, uh, less lots, more new homes. So they look a lot nicer. Okay, we're going back to Gator Circle North. North? No, no, it's, I think, let me see, West. I think now we're West. Let me see. It's kind of crazy. First sign. Yeah, we're Gator Circle West. Right now we're heading West. I don't know if you noticed, I went over a bridge. They do have some fresh water uh, lots in this area here and some fresh water homes also that you could go kayaking. They are pretty uh, long, so you could actually go kayaking for a while on, on them. And there's a lot of uh, freshwater fishing going on in these canals up here. And this is not so populated, this, you know, for what I hear from the people that we have sold homes in this area, that the fishing is really good. Okay, as you can see over here, there's a new home there, another one being built next to it. one in here. This is a three-car garage. Location-wise, it's very convenient. It's close to 41 that you could actually, you're very close to uh, Fort Myers, the downtown Fort Myers. You have a nice uh, uh, you know, shopping center for, you know, Publix supermarkets and there's a lot of things close by so it's pretty nice you see over here that's another freshwater canal and as you can see new construction like I said is all over the place another turn so now we're in south gator circle you see you have a you have homes in the middle and over here on the sides so what I'm gonna do now I'm probably gonna make a right here and let's see what's in this side here so you can have an idea what the home looks like and the neighborhood looks like Actually, this road here leads you to uh, Del Prado. So I'm gonna make a right here. This is what the neighborhood looks like. Check out the homes. You see, there's a lot of new homes and older homes together, but when you get a lot of newer homes, you know, there's a lot of newer homes also, so a lot of empty lots. But this, you know, this street here looks like it's kind of already 
starting to fill, fill up. go on the other side let's go to, to the middle of it you cannot cross on a lot of the streets you cannot cross from here from south to north or north to to south from south to north or from east to west because you got the canals in the middle this on the side here this canal is right there so this tree is going to go along the canal and then they're going to make a right so uh, some of them, have, there's no bridges actually in this area here that will take you to the other side. So those are nice things when you're looking for a neighborhood that you're kind of enclosed so you only have local traffic. And that's one thing that Cape Coral offers a lot. Let's turn here around the street. As you can see construction everywhere. Check out the big hole they do for the septic tank. Look at the tank is over there in the corner. And then that's the field. They fill it with rocks. And that's where the field for the septic tank is. For prices and homes available in this area, feel free to go to the link in the description. And I'll be putting there uh, one that says new construction for everything that is new construction. And I'll be having another link for everything that is resale. So if you're looking for new construction and you wanna see the prices, you could go and uh, just go new construction area. Okay, as you can see, homes everywhere I just saw a very different type of home <laughs> I want to go back there and look at it. it's one of those motor homes I'm trying to find the builders for them because I would like to do a, a video of those homes some people are asking about it let me go back here see that's big square that called my attention when I make the right turn there homes they're building building homes everywhere well that's not a home <laughs> yes yeah, probably a home with a big garage <laughs> yeah check that out that's one really different home can't wait till they finish to see what it looks like very different <laughs> I got to remember this address I want to see what the home looks like I didn't see any, too many windows <laughs> see there's just there it goes they're gonna start another home there new home over here new homes Right now, I can tell you, I want you guys to uh, check out if it's uh, true or not. Go on to the resales and see how much the resales are. And uh, then go on to the new I construction. Can't help with that. Sorry about series, just getting our conversation here. <laughs> like I was saying, I'd like you guys to check out, go to the new construction, okay? And check out the prices, and then go to resale and check out the prices, okay? And I want you to let me know which is the better deal. I would like to get some feedback for you, from you. So that will be something that you know that uh, I would like to see if you guys can. Uh, if you don't have too much, if you're in a computer right now, you're interested in this area, and you know, okay, Coral itself or Southwest Florida, so you can compare and see what is better, new construction or resale. Okay. From my experience. Uh, I think re uh, new construction, you're getting a brand new property with uh, everything up to code, uh, brand new AC, brand new seat roof, and new appliances, so you don't have to, it's a very free thing. And resales, if they're four or five years old, you got your wear and tear, but 
you know, sometimes location for resales are better. And some people go for resale because of the location. But new construction right now, I mean, it's up for crabs. So try to, you know, look up uh, the link I'm going to put below. And uh, look up the link I'm going to put below that has new construction resale. And if you have the time, please comment and tell me, let me know which one you think is better. New construction or resales. Okay. I would like to see... Uh, I might do a community post that I might put that question with the two links also. So I would like to see uh, what what uh, what you guys think. Okay, we're gonna go here to this other neighborhood over here. Take a look. more new construction you can still see some hurricane damage roofs you see the blue tarts but a lot of them have been redone that you're not seeing them <laughs> believe me it's amazing how much uh, how many roofs were jingles took off and how many roofs have to have replaced already and remember the the roofing issue here is uh, you're competing with new construction, also putting new roofs. So there's a lot of going on here. Let me turn here. And just giving you a look of inside neighborhoods, you know, in the Skater Silk area. So you get to see what they look like. And you get to see they're really building, building it out. So just giving you a heads up that right now, this area right now is hot. Everybody's you know really uh building a lot in this area here technically whole cake horror is being built up kind of like the same way you're looking out here but here like a skater circle is is away from the circle is away from actually everything in the sense of um main streets so that's you know that's why a lot of people like this area it's like north northeast i mean of cake coral so more quiet and as you can see there's still a lot of land available to be built I'm planning to do some videos in uh, Puna Gorda and north of uh, Burnstow Road in uh, Port Charlotte and also I'll be traveling over to Sarasota to do some videos there too so i uh, basically concentrate most of it in my real estate my wife and i we, we sell the most in in cape coral and fort myers that's where we have been here for over 20 years so uh but now i'm gonna start a lot of you guys are asking me to do other areas so i'm gonna go ahead and start doing other areas and i'm working with our company Berkshire hathaway floor realty to set up some agents to, when you guys have a question, you can call me and I can still set you up with one of our agents in our all our offices through the Southwest Coast, okay? So we got a pretty good bond together in our, you know, our company in the set that we personally work with a lot of agents throughout Southwest Florida and actually Florida itself. Our office, our company covers most of Florida, so, and, uh, and it's really good, you know, they give us the opportunity if you need an office, we can just show up to any of our branches and we have a desk to work on and copy machines and everything. So our company is very close. So I'm planning to go over to different offices and for them to, uh, to get some people to assist people that would like more information on my videos. OK, so but if you're looking for Southwest Florida, what is k Core, Fort Myers, Lehigh, Bonita and, you know, Back rope, back rope ranch. Just feel free to uh, to contact us. We cover you know, Lee County itself. So, well, I hope you have enough. I'm thinking I'm gonna head back. I'm gonna go head back to uh, Gator Circle and. Uh, 
complete this tour here. I'm also going to be having a um, motorhome from one of the builders here soon for, from, from this area. So that way you guys can uh, partially see most of the homes here that are being built here. Most of them, they're probably 1,500 to 2,000 square feet. So if you're looking in that, uh, in that um, square feet range, uh, this area here will be good for you. Check out over here, all of this has a canal behind. Check out how beautiful that home there. You like that house? Mm -hmm. Very nice and elegant. If you're looking for new construction, that is uh, custom homes, uh, feel free also to contact us. We can uh, see what it is that you're looking for and we can set you up with the right builder. Okay, we, we do all the walking for you, so. We have helped a lot of you guys find your custom home builder for you guys here. So that's a service we offer. A lot of people come here and there's so many builders that they don't know what to do. So you tell us the square footage that you're looking for, how much you want to spend, and what type of uh, you know home do you want. And we'll, we'll, what we do is we'll talk to all the builders and set you up, send you all the information on each builder that we think will fit your needs. And then when you come down, we come look at them all. Okay. We're back at Gator Circle West. Uh, this video was informative to you here's a fire station check out the fire station number 10 here in the middle of uh, gator circle area so like i was saying before uh, i hope this uh, video was informative to you if you have any questions feel free to contact us at 239 and please leave us comments if, and remember that question if you guys have the time uh, check the resales and the and the new construction and tell me what do you think which one is better that'll be helpful i'm gonna do a poll on that probably i'm gonna put a poll to see people yeah. who would like to comment on that Video's getting kind of long, so I'm gonna be signing off. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, tour of Gator Circle. And if you would like to see, if you, did, you didn't get to see the park and the school, uh, feel free to see my previous video. I'm gonna put it at the end. So that shows you the, the park and the school, the high school. And, uh, and if you have any questions, like I said before, feel free to contact us, okay? Uh, 239 for 107372. So I'm going to let you know that my wife and I have been selling real estate in Cape Coral, Fort Myers area, Lee County for over 20 years. So we can help you out if you have any questions about this area. And stay tuned if you're looking for other areas in Southwest Florida. I'm going to start posting videos from other areas in, in Southwest Florida. So hit that subscribe button and stay informed. That's it. Well, 
hope you enjoyed it and see you on the next video